There are improvements in type, safety and structure. In one of my previous videos, I reviewed Trey Solo. Back then, I named the tool one of the best on the market because Trey Solo is the best. It's easy to use and it's bug free. It's just extremely easy to create applications with it. Solo understands prompts easily and again, it's bug free. Even when errors are discovered, the AI agent manages to quickly fix them before finishing up a task. For simple apps, Solo proved to be a bug and beyond and yes solo was mainly good for simple apps but it's not just for simple projects anymore now the new upgraded tray solo has two different modes what we knew as solo is now called solo builder the main purpose of this mode is to create projects from zero to one meaning from scratch and solo coder the newest agent of tray solo is designed to scale a project from one to one 100, meaning it's best used in real development scenarios. This mode is for real coding, not toy projects or mockups. And we are going to put this new mode to the test. Buckle up, we are about to get started. Let's dive deep. I am installing the new updated version of Trey on my computer. I'll pick deep blue, installing the new version. Next, try now. To properly test this tool, I should pick one of my existing projects and try to enhance it. I'm clicking on Solo Coder and Solo Builder and I see that Solo Coder has this plan toggle. The agent will add a planning stage here if this is activated. Let's keep it turned on. There is also the edit button that allows you to edit the agent. Let's click add MCP server. As you can see, the MCP marketplace is full of options. Anything from Google Maps to MongoDB, MySQL Server, Excel, and even YouTube. I'm going to select one of my projects and try to enhance it. I'm selecting my old project called Sharkagochi. I'm pretty sure you remember this one from my older videos. And I'll ask Solo Coder if it can improve the architecture of this project, improve the architecture of this project project. The agent is working, it's scanning through the files and it detected a few very significant issues, including mixed technologies. The project combined React TypeScript with vanilla JavaScript files, had duplicate code and poor separation of concerns. Game logic and chat functionality were mixed together, plus several other issues. On the right side of the screen, I see phases proposed including front-end restructure, back-end improvements, configuration and environment management, testing and quality and performance optimization. Let's click execute and the agent is working on the updates. The interface looks familiar, very clean. You can see files, progress and all the changes. The agent has been working on the project for quite some time. It recreated TypeScript interfaces and types for the game, created React contexts for a game context and oath context, built custom hooks and converted game logic from script.js into react components it also created authentication components and integrated them with react when we talk about 1 to 100 this is exactly what it looks like solo coder evaluates the scope of work first and then helps you turn any level project into a pro grade product tray created components using the stream chat react sdk updated the app.tsx file removed legacy JavaScript files and updated the HTML structure. We're hitting some errors, but Trey is catching them and fixing them automatically. The build completed successfully and we can see the full list here. There are improvements in type, safety and structure, React architecture, component organization, code quality, development practices and more. 30 files were changed. Let's launch this game. 
This now looks like a proper game. Everything's working well. Actions are properly displayed. Characters change dynamically. Nothing's glitching and the visuals have been upscaled significantly. Also sign up and sign in functionality are now present. This is what Sharkagochi looked like before Trey took over the app. No sign up or sign in functionality. The game was glitchy. And this is the app after Trey took over. The UI UX looks cleaner. The app is now responsive and the actions are now neatly grouped into one dedicated spot. You can see the baby shark status and the progress bars function much smoother. The app is faster. It has full full sign up and sign in functionality and even a chat and it was all done by Trey. Okay, that says it all. Solo Coder just proved it can handle serious stuff. If you have a project that needs refactoring, optimization or architectural improvements and you want to level up that project with ease, Trey Solo Coder is perhaps one of the best options. I've always emphasized how much I appreciate a bug-free and hassle-free coding experience and Trey doesn't disappoint here. The entire process is smooth and it makes a big difference. If you need a tool for pro-grade development that feels easy to use, Give Solo Coder a try. I've included all links in the description. I'll be back, but I'm done for now, and I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out.